Hello, Mystery Seekers. I'm Greg from the History Mystery Blog, and today we're diving deep into the strangest cosmic visitor of our lifetime, the interstellar intruder known as 3 i slash a t l a s We first talked about it when it was just a blip on the radar, a weird rock from beyond our solar system. But now, we know way more. And honestly, the more we learn, the less it makes sense. Why is it spewing pure nickel, an element that nature never isolates on its own? Why does its trajectory look less like random chance and more like a planned mission? Is this a message? A test? A warning? And if it is a message, who the hell sent it? Gods? Engineers? Or something far worse? The universe just knocked on our door. Let's try to figure out why, together. Even if we don't get all the answers, we're raising our awareness. And that's the first step toward not being blindsided. As always, I've got my brilliant co-pilot, Brian, here to help me untangle the data, the theories, and the terrifying possibilities. Brian, take the stage. Appreciate the intro, Greg. Now you can relax. This is where I step in. We're not just telling a story tonight, we're revealing the truth behind this mystery, a truth hidden in plain sight. For centuries, we've treated the solar system like a Swiss watch engineered by celestial artisans. Gears of gravity, springs of momentum, pendulums of planetary orbits, all ticking in divine harmony. We launched probes, calculated trajectories, landed robots on alien dust, all because the equations held. Newton bowed to Einstein, Einstein tipped his hat to quantum weirdness, and still the cosmos kept its receipts, until July 2025. That's when the universe, with a theatrical flourish, dropped a visitor named Triatlas, an interstellar vagabond that doesn't just defy physics. It laughs in its face while juggling flaming chainsaws made of pure nickel. Ten pounds of it per second. And not just any nickel. Pure, searing, unnaturally isolated nickel. No iron, none. Zero zip, as if the periodic table threw a tantrum and divorced its most loyal couple, the nickel that broke the periodic table. And possibly our sanity. Let's rewind to cosmic basics. Heavy elements born in the bellies of dying stars, forged in supernova tantrums, spat into the void like cosmic confetti. Iron and nickel, they're inseparable. Siamese twins of stellar alchemy. Every meteorite we've ever dug out of the dirt. Iron nickel alloy always it's not a suggestion it's a law written in the blood of exploding suns but triatlas it's a cosmic diva strutting down the runway wearing a gown of 100 percent nickel no iron chaperone in sight to separate nickel from iron on earth you need factories the size of small nations furnaces hotter than corporate boardrooms and engineers who haven't slept since grad school the universe it's lazy it takes the path of least resistance so either our entire understanding of stellar nucleosynthesis is wrong possible but about as likely as your cat filing your taxes or this isn't natural this is made a technological artifact exhaust from an engine we can't even dream of industrial waste from a civilization that treats pure elements like we treat plastic bottles disposable abundant and mildly annoying the trajectory that screams i see you in reverse but here's where it gets truly unnerving triatlas doesn't just exist it performs its path through our solar system isn't chaotic it's choreographed with malice with curiosity with bureaucratic precision who knows but statistically it's absurd it executed near-perfect flybys of Venus, Mars and Jupiter. Not random, not accidental, but optimal for observation. Scientists calculated the odds, 0.5%. You're more likely to be struck by lightning three times in one week while winning the lottery and being proposed to by a confused otter. And then, the piece de resistance, it entered the ecliptic plane, the cosmic highway all planets cruise along, backwards. Imagine a Lamborghini roaring down a one-way street at rush hour, not to crash, but to make eye contact with every driver it passes. That's Triatlas, and its closest approach to the sun happens on the far side and deliberately hidden from our telescopes. An information eclipse, a cosmic mic drop, this isn't coincidence. 
This is intention wearing a tuxedo. Umuamua was the whisper. Triatlas is the scream. Remember Umuamua? That cigar-shaped enigma from 2017, the one that accelerated without a tail, baffled astronomers and vanished before we could ask it for its autograph. We called it a fluke, a weirdo, a cosmic glitch. Then Triatlas showed up. Two interstellar guests in less than a decade? Statistically, it's like finding two unicorns in your backyard while eating cereal. Umuamua was silent. No emissions, no drama, just a ghostly acceleration that made physicists sweat. Tratlas, it's screaming. Nickel geysers, impossible chemistry, a trajectory that spells I'm here to audit you. It's as if the universe is testing us, first with silence, then with spectacle, first with absence, then with overwhelming presence. Are these two random anomalies, or is someone or something running a quality control check on Earth's intellectual curiosity, the cosmic code, and why we're bad at reading it? History loves to humble us. We thought Earth was the center of everything. Nope. We thought physics was complete. Enter relativity, enter quantum mechanics, enter existential dread. Triatlas is the next chapter. It's not just an object, it's a message. Written not in radio waves, how quaint, how 20th century, but in the language of fundamental physics. Pure nickel, that's a technological signature, a beacon, a hello note for any civilization that's graduated from steam engines to space flight. The question isn't, are we alone? That ship has sailed. The new question is, what the hell is this? A probe, a weapon, a discarded engine part from a civilization that views elemental purity like we view Wi-Fi passwords. Mildly important, but easily reset. And why does it feel like we're the toddlers in a universe of PhDs? The price of ignoring the obvious. Spoiler, it's everything. We've been here before. In 1977, the WOW signal, a 72-second radio burst from deep space, was dismissed as a fluke, a cosmic hiccup. Media turned it into a meme. Science buried it in footnotes. Now, Triatlas risks the same fate. Headlines scream, space rock spits nickel, while ignoring the real horror. Its CO2 to water ratio is eight. One, unheard of, inexplicable. A fingerprint from a place that shouldn't exist. Its trajectory, a statistical impossibility. Its timing, a deliberate blackout. Together, they form a pattern too loud to ignore. Yet we do. Why? Because admitting this might be artificial means admitting we're not the smartest kids in the cosmic classroom. It means investing in interception missions, global telescope networks, rewriting textbooks, and, worst of all, thinking. And thinking, my friends, is exhausting. It's easier to call it a mystery comet and move on, but reality doesn't care about our comfort. Ignore Triatlas, and we don't just miss a scientific opportunity, we surrender our future we become the civilization that heard the knock, checked the peephole, and went back to binge-watching Netflix. The mirror in the void, and the ugly truth it reflects. Three Atlas isn't just visiting, it's holding up a mirror, and darling, the reflection isn't flattering. We're still pretending we understand the cosmos. We're still choosing small certainties over grand uncertainties. We're still hiding from the abyss, even as it winks back at us. The universe doesn't need to speak. Its silence is louder than any scream. And its questions, they're waiting. And that's a wrap for today. We hope this journey left you equal parts fascinated, unsettled, and wildly curious about what else the universe is hiding. If your brain's buzzing in the best way, you're going to love what's coming next. Dive deeper. Check out our podcast for more mind-bending space mysteries, cosmic theories, and late-night what-if convos that keep you staring at the stars. Got a topic you're dying to explore? Drop it in the comments. I live to chase down the weird, the impossible, and the weight that can't be real. And turn it into your next favorite video. Until next time, stay curious. Stay cosmic and live like the universe is watching, because it just might be.